Here's an engraved staff. Uh, let's see if I can get anything out of this. Engraved. This item is engraved with the scene from the life of the ancient Sultan Utafa. While traveling through the museum precinct Shenena, Utafa stopped at a market in Mirvarok Dune. At an obscure shop, she purchased a desiccated floating orb and named it Desicate, Desicate Dequus Utafa gift. These random names are just a whole lot of fun. Then she went to a nearby ta tavern and lost the, yeah, the, that thing in a foolhardy bet. She cursed the tavern and left Mirvadok Dune. So uh, apparently if we if we have this thing equipped, we get a uh, plus 50 reputation with the Utafian flock. I'm however not going to do that, but I am going to pick it up and carry it. Also we have received a quest, uh, recover the, the orb. And I think that also may have revealed the location of that. Uh, let's actually see. So here's my journal, and here are the historic sites. I think I don't. Yeah, I don't have it. I do not know where the uh, orb might be located, but I think I might be able to get that information by luck. Uh, as for now, no idea. But at least we know that such an orb exists, and we can actually, if we want to, go hunting for that orb. Because I think all of those things, they do exist, if the lore says so. And they are completely random, which makes this game pretty interesting. Though I don't think I have ever located a single piece of those uh, historic artifacts. Yeah, you just die now, thank you. Uh, apparently I auto got a willowy bronze dagger. I'm not sure why I did, but I think it might be because it's worthwhile in some way. We're going to pick up the two-handed sword and the bark armor. Let's actually take a look at that um, that uh, willowy dagger. Willowy, this item weighs much less than normal. That's why I picked it up. It doesn't weigh anything. It's In fact, it's Weight is literally zero, which is why the game was like, you're you're probably going to want to carry this because it literally costs you nothing to carry. Uh, Borskin gloves, uh, I might actually wear those because I don't currently have anything in my uh, hands, or on my hands rather. I have plenty of things in my hands, but nothing really on them. An iron mace. And a shawl. A comely multicolored shawl, surely to distinguish its wearer from the rest of the pack. So I think because it's quilted, it's basically just worth a little bit more. Doesn't give it any other benefits. Uh, first, not sure if I want that. And just a basic staff, leather apron, not really worth it. However, there are a couple of... Uh, yep, there, there were in fact a uh, two shotgun shells and also a weird artifact. I'm going to pick up that's masterwork, which is like really good, but it's it's a it's a bronze dagger, so it's probably not going to you know be worth much. But hey, I'm going to pick it up anyway. Snapjaw corpse. Also, these things right here. There are plenty of plants in COD that are awful. These are one of them. These are called the Kudzu, and I will definitely kill it. Uh, I think it's a plant. Yeah, it's this plant is a densely twisted mat of metallic fibers and long billowing red fronds, which wave gently towards you on an unfelt breeze. Um, basically, these things really easy to kill. Uh, I don't think they can really damage you, but they can damage your equipment very, very much. These cause, like, like these cause items to just instantly rust, which is particularly annoying when your uh, like thrown weapons or things like that just rust, or your rifle, which is just awful when that happens because there is no way to really get that rifle back unless you buy a new one. I think you can fix them, but it's a little bit difficult. We don't even have the repair ability, but let's examine this weird artifact right here. You make some progress understanding the pump shotgun. Okay, the game is just giving me all of the amazing... Uh, 
It's, it's giving me a whole bunch of uh, missile weapons, like the shotgun. I think I have never even seen a pump shotgun before. In this game. Um, this basic shotgun can be deadly at very close range, but it is very inaccurate even at even moderate distances. So it basically... If I want a weapon that uh, can uh, multiple projectiles per shot, so basically it shoots eight projectiles, uh, but it's only really worth it at short distances. Uh, I'm definitely going to sell that. I don't think I'm going to use it because I'm sort of um, uh, when it comes to my character, I'm sort of oriented towards rifles. I think. Uh, but is there actually a separate thing that uh, affects shotguns? I don't think so. I think shotguns might actually count as rifles in this game because, like everything in the sh uh, in the rifle category, like the steady hands, uh, or rather the do 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 do. Wait. Whenever you fire a two-handed weapon. A two-handed weapon at a target in melee range, you attempt to kick the target backwards. Uh, so I think, like, if it's a two-handed weapon, it counts as a rifle, which kind of makes sense, I suppose. There's also uh, pistols, I think. Do 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 do. If I can, f yeah, here's the Pierce pistols. But yeah, I I think um, I think I'm not going to use the shotgun if I want to use a missile weapon, I probably want to use the rifle at a longer distance rather than a shotgun at a shorter distance. I imagine the shotgun will have like devastating damage, but um, still um, sort of, you know, more rifle focus at the moment. But I'm definitely going to sell it and it's, it's going to, you know, get me a whole lot of money because it's like shotguns and missile weapons in general, apart from like bows, Worth a lot. Seriously, worth a whole lot. Uh, leather armor, I think I might be able to get something out of that. These guys are starting starting to pile up a little bit, but I'm not I'm not worried. I have a shield which blocks most of their attacks. Well, not necessarily most of their attacks, but a lot of their attacks. And uh, I still have, like, I have a decent amount of health. Okay, a whole bunch of stuff here. <laughs> Iron longsword, good stuff. I'm definitely picking that up. There's also a painted bronze battle axe, otherwise I wouldn't necessarily take it, but it's painted. Uh, this item is painted with a scene from the life of ancient Sultan Nayuram. In a remote ermitage, uh, Nayuram met with a group of winter eremites and commissioned a wintry truth that evoked the presence of a clear mirror. She named it uh, Mirroreka. Mirroreka. Okay. So that's just a piece of history. Apparently Mirroreka doesn't even exist because otherwise the game would have told me go fetch it. But I might be able to get something out of that. There's also a jewel encrusted wooden buckler. It's funny when like the jewel encrusted thing always appears in the context of otherwise very 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 cheap items. So basically this is just more valuable than a normal one and if you want to impress the water barons you can wield this. The Water Barons are basically a, one of the factions here. They are kind of, kind of like guys that handle the water trading stuff. There's a sturdy leather cap. I might actually pick that up and use it because I don't have anything better. Currently nothing on my head, so I might as well put the leather cap there. There's also another quilted shawl and an iron mace. And there's one guy approaching, Iron Longsword, good stuff. Cracked Lens, also good stuff. Just short bow, not so interested in that, but... Technically I could probably carry a whole lot of stuff away from here. Actually, not th not so much, because I'm already at 309 out of 330 weight. So, actually, I, can, I can't really carry it much more. So I think my, my item management thus far is pretty good. I'm only really picking up stuff that I can actually use. For example, this bronze longsword, this would be like on the sort of border, like it would be borderline worthwhile to pick up and carry, but mm, I'm going to take the cap. 
But yeah, uh, like I said, I'm not going to go into, like, here's the, here's the staircase into the actual dungeon of this place, and the game sort of maybe expects you to go into the dungeon. Uh, I'm not going to do that, though. Instead, we're actually going to head back because I'm starting to carry a whole lot of stuff. Uh, but as you can, as you already saw, you can actually get the wire from outside the dungeon as well. Let's just hope that we don't get lost. We didn't, good. So let's sell some of this stuff that we picked up. Uh, and then we can uh, head back in there. And yeah, here's, here's Tam. I think it's dark. It's like nighttime, so that's why I didn't see Tam there. Okay, so let's trade. I have a whole bunch of stuff for you to buy from me. Uh, bark armor, lacquer, yeah, all of this stuff can go. Uh, the quilted shawls can go as well. Uh, the flaming iron short sword can go, engraved staff, everything, just everything goes. Today, everything goes. And I could sell the pump shotgun for 14. Uh, but I'm not sure if there's actually anything I would... Well, it's, it's dead weight if I don't carry it. Plus, I don't really expect to get much in the way of... Sh actually, I could get like 18 shells from, uh, from Tam. So I could make that work. But the thing is, do I really want to use it? I'm going to carry it around for a little while longer. I'm... But I'm probably not going to get much use out of that. Jewel encrusted shirt buckler can go, yeah, all that stuff. Okay, and hopefully I can buy something from you that will actually help me a little bit here. I could buy some of the artifacts here. If I wanted. But I'm not sure what these artifacts are. Uh, getting some grenades would be nice, but... It's it's a it's basically guesswork as to which one is which. Um, I'm like otherwise I would be looking into the carbide hammer, but I'm not really focused on hammers. Carbide is like better than steel. Uh, I could technically trade in my steel longsword for a sturdy steel longsword, which would be better. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to wait up on the the shotgun because currently I can like the price I'm getting for that is pretty crappy. Like here's the Borderlands revolver that we sold earlier. It's now being sold for 170, nearly 180. And the pump shotgun is worth more than that, I know, because it should be better. Uh, but the thing about the pump shotgun right now is that I'm only capable of selling it for 40, uh, 14, not even 40. Uh, I'm going to pick up a weird artifact, and you didn't have any food on you. No, you did not. So basically, that way we get 13 extra drams of water. And we get ourselves a uh, an artifact. These are usually worth it, so I'm hoping for a grenade. It is a thermal grenade, so that's good. We can use that against crowds if we really need to. But usually, for me, things just kind of go a little bit wrong when I use grenades, so I tend to not use them that much. Okay. Uh, we could grab a little bit of extra... Oh, I think, yep, you're lost. You're regaining your bearings by exploring your surroundings. This happens sometimes, and it's always annoying. Okay, so we're going to have to switch to a torch, because otherwise we cannot see. So sometimes when you walk on the sort of overworld view, you can also travel everywhere if you want to by just, you know, walking on this view. Uh, but sometimes you get, you get lost. Luckily it should be just a matter of uh, walking in this direction so that we can get back to Yopa. And once we get, to, we get back to Yopa we should regain our uh, surroundings, our bearings like instantly just need to get to Yopa and we are at the Yopa outskirts the shallows so this is good it's just a question of uh, getting back yep we have stopped being lost so let's try again the lost getting lost thing is pretty annoying 
and we will definitely end up getting lost more like more than that okay uh removing that and i am switching back to my uh my steel shield because it's bright out here we don't really need the uh, torch uh, six extra hit points and 102 skill points and an attribute point so that's very good and this is why i kind of take the like we could have just instantly gone for the uh, oh no more skull that's actually pretty decent we could have gone straight for red rock but that would have basically been suicide at least it would have been difficult to survive so killing these guys uh like outside the dungeons is a lot safer and like you still get the rewards that you need uh, look at this. So this is plus one ego. A hideous play, uh, plays a skull with a gaping beak. It's basically the same as my sturdy leather cap. Uh, plus I get a uh, an ego bonus. So that means more... I think that means better prices at the shop. So definitely going to pick that up and use it. And now it's getting dark again. Okay, you can also get uh, light sources that don't go onto your hands, and I'm definitely hoping that we can find one. For example, there's the there's a helmet basically. Well, actually, there are multiple helmets that have like a light source attached to them, and if we can find one of those, it would be really convenient. Another thing is the. Uh, the orbs, the floating orbs, they are sometimes uh, ones that actually light the way. Which is damn convenient because then it means that you don't even... Oh, which would wreath? No, so this is just decorative. We're going to carry it around, but it's not going to be used boss, by us. Um, used boss, yes. Uh, but yeah, it basically means that you can just... Uh, have whatever armor or equipments equipped and then you can have a uh, in this floating nearby slot you can have a light source but we don't currently have anything like that and these guys are really easy like i'm not worried even though we don't have our shield equipped i'm probably going to end up taking a little bit more damage but it's not significant Okay, let's avoid the kudzu. I've had some games actually be properly ruined by, you know, such a simple thing as the kudzu. Okay, someone is throwing projectiles. The, sh the snapjaw shotgunner hits. Really? They have a shotgunner? Oh, they absolutely do. I'm actually going to take cover here and wait for that shotgunner to come to me because, uh... I'm actually, that's actually one of the few times I've actually seen a shotgunner, or I, technically I haven't even seen it yet. Usually, oh, also what am I doing? I should pick up the copper nugget as well. You're not the shotgunner, you just have a painted mace. Uh, secrets are, are, are seen from uh, cooks there docked. Place in 134, after several tumultuous years, Coxer docks. Counselor suggested he let a regent rule in his palace, uh, in his place. Instead, he spent the day cleaving skulls and then continued his reign like nothing had happened. Okay. <laughs> yeah, very good. Yeah, sometimes the. because the, the lore is random like that, sometimes it generates like really weird lore. Like. Super weird. For example, that was basically a story of how nothing happened. But I, I guess, I guess you could make a scene out of that if you really wanted. Okay, where the hell did the the shotgunner go? Because I would be. Are you the shotgunner? You're not. You're not a shotgunner. You're just a warlord. Or a warrior. Okay, you're actually you're a warrior. The blue guy was a warlord. 
Okay, now we may need to wait a little bit to get our health back. Yeah, these guys, these guys don't really cause much of a problem unless they are like the actual uh, higher tier variants. For example, those warlords. And even if they are, they are only really a match if you um, if you get like surrounded by them. But I really want to see where the shotgunner go. Uh, shotgunner go. Yes, shotgunner wins. Uh, because okay, that that's not a shotgunner. That's just a seed spitting vine. I'm wondering if they like moved in this direction. Okay, what is this? Uh, that's a glow crow. Don't really care. It, it isn't hostile and it doesn't really warrant any kind of killing. Okay, we may have missed the shotgunner, which was a shame. I should have probably just honestly run at it. Because I probably would have been able to take him. Also, I should reload my rifle while I'm here. And, you know, while I'm aware of that fact. Um, yeah, that's a bit of a shame, because I would have been able to maybe get another shotgun out of that. But, eh, it's not a big loss. Okay, I think that about does it for this place. We're going to check out the last one as well at some point. Also, one thing I should really do is, I have this attribute point that I should put towards something. At this point, putting it towards toughness is uh, a little bit useless. We are going to get a lot more he uh, head, uh, yeah, head points. Yeah. We're going to get a lot more HP from uh, just the level ups alone. So putting it towards toughness is not necessarily a greatest idea ever. Um, Putting it towards strength might be more worthwhile, but honestly, I think at this point, putting it towards agility might make even more sense, because it's, it's at least going to make that, like, uh, average value. So we are not getting a debuff to our uh, accuracy, which is good. Normally, I just push toughness, but honestly, I don't think that's the best course of action. Wait, have we checked all of these yet? Have we checked this place? No, we haven't, because I there's some wire here that I haven't picked up. Also, how much can I carry? I can still carry plenty, so we can easily take a look at this place. And I think we might... Oh, reinforced cloth overalls, that's pretty interesting. So that's reinforced plus one AV. Is that actually... No, that's, that's not better than my chainmail, surely. Yeah, my chainmail is 3 AV and 1 dodge, basically. Uh, minus 1 dodge, rather. Because it's it's uh, actual, like, armor. It prevents you from moving around. So you, you're doing your, like, saving rolls a little bit worse. And you have another quilted shawl. These guys really like their shawls. And, yep, that looks like plenty of uh, wire. Also, that is a bear. And it's hostile. Uh, this might be a circumstance where I might actually consider trying out my rifle. So how about we do just that? Okay, how much damage would do it? We did like a little bit of damage. Okay, that's actually doing a decent amount of damage. Uh, like two two shots from that, and we basically took almost half of the health away. That's pretty decent. Uh, I am going to remove my torch, and I'm going to instead wield the shield because it's it's light enough out here. And that was one of the easiest bear fights I've had. Bears can be kind of tough, and sometimes fighting them is a pain and a, a nightmare, honestly. 
In this case, that actually went pre pretty well. The bears are most definitely not one of the like most difficult enemies in this game at all. But they can be pretty annoying. Bracelets, artifacts, first not interested in that, but let's check out what the artifact is. You think you broke it. Damn it. Yeah, our intelligence is a little bit crappy. Weird artifact broken. Yeah, that's why you want to keep your uh, your intelligence actually up. And I was wondering if I had like too little intelligence to actually pull that off like safely. And it would seem that I was right. I had way too little intelligence. This thing here, this thing right here is a Jilted Lover. It's another one of the nasty ones. Swarthy wall vine that embraces lovers and doesn't care to see them go. It basically grabs you and slowly kills you and it's it's annoying. And this Kudzu just really refuses to die. Oh my god, my, sh my shield just rusted. Thanks to the Kudzu. <coughs> I was wondering if I was getting too close. Most definitely did. So, um, that's awesome. That means we have broken a weird artifact. It could have been anything. Actually, it couldn't. It's it's not anything. It's it literally weighs one pound. Uh, can I actually examine this further? Whatever it is, it's broken. So basically, no. I might be able to still sell it for something, but it's going to be just like. Uh, pfft. It's going to be not worth a whole lot. Plus our shield, uh, steel shield is uh, rusted, so that means we cannot use it until we fix it. Which is as... It, it's also a lot of fun. I was wondering where the luck is going to turn, and it's, it's right here. We've had so much good luck thus far. So it just makes a whole lot of sense that it's now going to go horrendously wrong. But we have the at least we have the Oh, it's the the, the goat is fighting the uh, fighting the kudzu here and failing. Uh, but at least we have the wire. So that's good. Bloody iron battle axe. Also, items do get bloody, and like here's a puddle of blood because someone has been fighting here. Um, just the nice, nice little details, and items also get bloody if they are, you know, in a uh, uh, nearby when a splatter happens. That's an iron longsword. Uh, let me just quickly wait for this snap jaw. Yay, we have leveled up at least. Very good. Okay, let's pick up the longsword. Let's uh, not pick up that. And that thing right there is a is a hermit. So hermits are another another pump shotgun. What is this? Like, why am I getting so many shotguns? Is the game trying to like tell me something? So the reason why everything here is bloody is because someone has been running into young ivory here. So that's basically that's another plant. It's it doesn't do a whole lot unless you run into it, in which case it really hurts you. Uh, unless you can get around it, sometimes you can like do a saving throw. A little bit of water here, but it's all brackish, so we're not going to get anything out of that. I don't think I need to pick up the wire, but I might as well. Honestly, I'm here. Why not? Also, the the hermit and the goat are having a fight, and the hermit win. Win. The hermit wins. Oh, for example, I'm. I'm I'm just not able to speak today. Like, not like, like, Nike. Nike, not at all. Ugh. God. Normally I speak better. Okay, one thing. One thing I'm going to do is I am going to start thinking a little bit of the long term. And one of the things I want is uh, I want butchery. And I might be able to, like, I might want to actually bring that up to uh, Skillful Butchery. Because we are going to need the 
we're not, we're really going to need the food like quite soon. I'm also going to pick up harvestry. Um, might pick up skillful harvestry because, for example, this here is a star apple tree. So if we have the, we actually do have the harvestry ability right now. So G harvest. You harvest some star apples, so that's that's very simple way of getting food. Also, let's hope that the goat is still here. Yep, the goat was still here, and we got some uh, goat meat out of that.